Hey Makers, this is the Deliverable 6 video for the USF Make course. This will be a discussion of the Arduino sketch for my planetarium project. I'll present a brief intro to the design of my project and the control system, and then I'll discuss the Arduino sketch used to control my project. Here we can see that uh, the three steppers move each of the three planet columns and then the entire assembly can be placed in the plastic enclosure box. Here's a picture of the breadboard prototype. You can actually see that a portable cell phone battery powers the entire board. You can also see the Atmega uh, motor stepper driver and the Bluetooth module all on the board together. So here's the first bit of code. Basically it just contains some macro definitions, some settings for the steppers and then it contains three Excel stepper instances for each of the three stepper motors as well as a pointer array to each of these three objects. The setup loop is pretty simple. It begins serial communications and then assigns to the pointer array the addresses of the three stepper uh, Excel stepper objects. Then it assigns the speed and acceleration to each of the three steppers. Uh, and then it does a test spin on the Mercury stepper just to let you know that uh, the Arduino is alive and working. Then it attaches uh, an ISR called Run Steppers that runs every 100 microseconds. I'll explain that later. The loop function acts as a main read loop. It'll check if there's any input available on the serial interface, and if so, it'll read it in character by character. It skips over any character turns and new lines and stores everything else in the character buffer, up to the buffer size. Once it encounters a new line, it'll interpret that as the end of the input and begin to tokenize the input string. Basically, it'll split the input line along spaces, convert each token to a float, and then convert that from degrees to steps. Then it'll call move stepper on each of those values. The move stepper function is a little more interesting. It takes a stepper and a target and will move that stepper from its current position to the target position. The way it does that is it calculates the minimum distance that that stepper needs to travel from its current position to the target position and whether it needs to turn clockwise or counterclockwise to arrive at that position. Also, if debug mode is on, it'll print out a string that will indicate the current position the steps it needs to take to arrive at the target, as well as the target. And then finally, the run steppers function that I mentioned earlier acts as an interrupt service routine. It'll check each stepper if it needs to make a step at that point in time, and for each stepper that does need to take a step, it'll make a single step. Although the move stepper function is fully functional, I have a slightly modified move steppers function that I will eventually fully implement. Basically, instead of only being aware of one stepper and one target at a time, it's aware of all the steppers and all the targets simultaneously, and it will compute the maximum distance that all of the steppers will need to take to arrive at their targets, and it will match up all of their speeds so that they leave and arrive at the same point in time. And that's it. It's a pretty simple sketch. It's fully functional with serial over USB as well as serial over Bluetooth. Um, the only things that I would consider changing about this sketch are uh, trying to make the motions a little more graceful. Thanks for watching. Now go make something awesome.